What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism here hitting you guys with video number seven. Uh starting from the right side of the spectrum, going on to one of the core starting characters, the keeper. Um again, this is going to, I mean some people might try and make an aggressive keeper. It might, it's a little well, difficult to make a, a, a aggressive keeper, but I'm about to show you guys a really, really interesting build that uh, one of my buddies brought light to me, which I'm gonna do after I'm able to promote this chick. So, um, yeah, what we're going to start off in, uh, the, I mean, Primal Spirit is definitely, if you want to concentrate all around, like, lightning damage and stuff, I'm not going to lie, it's not, it's not a bad idea. It's actually a really, really cool idea, but it, I don't know, if you're doing higher difficulties, you do understand the, what can I say, um, you understand the importance of a keeper so protection is definitely a huge thing and I'm about to show you guys how to do crowd controlling while also having a badass uh, barrier set up so uh, what you could do is uh, what I would definitely do is uh, upgrade the barrier and we're, I'm about to show you something like else that's also really crazy that's on here what you do is uh, you go barrier and then elegant defense of course reduce the cooldown by four seconds for every barrier that expires so, I mean, if you already have a cooldown time, it's for 24 seconds. I don't know, it's really nice. But, uh, yeah, so the barrier is 900 to start, which really isn't that great. But uh, you, what you do is you end up getting... My, my bad, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, you, you just want to get everything that ends up uh, building on to your barrier, especially this one right here. That increases the barrier some more. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I don't know, it, it's pretty ridiculous. But for those of you who know the Arcane Warrior, you guys know that uh, the static cage pretty much keeps enemies from actually like leaving that area. So as soon as they walk in, they're stuck in there for the duration of that. So that's actually really nice. Granted, the cooldown is 32 seconds, but we can build off that cooldown. So, yeah. Alright, so first thing, of course, rejuvenating uh, barrier, you get 35% mana regen, which is really nice. Uh, peaceful aura, uh, pretty much if uh, you happen to aggro or whatever, it'll be a little easier for you to, like, be avoided. Like, they'll be like, oh, okay, there's other people, I'm going to go attack that. So, 50% uh, threat reduction is really nice. Uh, of course, you being a squishy little keeper, you want to definitely have that damage resistance as much as you can. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. So it, it, even though like starting off 900, I think the higher level you get, the more your barrier shields. I'm not too sure yet. But don't waste anything on Fade Cloak. I did that by accident because this was the second character I tried out after the game like just came out. So yeah, it, it's kind of shit, but don't do it. Uh, but yeah, so granted, it, it, the barrier holds like that much damage or whatever, but at the same time, if they're having damage resistance, then it, it obviously... Uh, the enemies will do less damage to the barrier, so in turn, being a little, a lot better. Um, yeah, we don't worry about proud. So then, uh, we go down to Circle of Life, which is, again, same thing that, uh, Templars have. As soon as you, uh, as, when you're downed, it instantly heals all of your teammates, all, like, back to full health, and it gives them a 50% damage bonus for 10 seconds, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Guardian Spirit is okay. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, because if, if you're wanting to definitely play support and run up and try and drop a shield down for your teammates, and that's actually really nice. Like, right when you get down to, like, one shot, you instantly have, like, that full shield. So that's actually really helpful. And then Mana Surge. Mana Surge is awesome. So anytime your barrier explodes, it'll freeze anybody. Like, anybody who's within uh, three meters from it. I Wait. I don't know. I'm having a brain fart. I'm not too sure if that's the correct one that I'm thinking of. Your barrier explodes into wild magic when enemies destroy it. The blast freezes all nearby enemies and allows you to cast your next spell without consuming mana. I don't know if that counts for yours or if it counts for all the ones that you casted. Not too sure. Having a slight brain fart. Uh, and then nature shield. Uh, your entire party gains increased resistance to fire, ice, electric, and spear damage. So that's really nice. Uh, then you get Veiled uh, Riposte, or Riposte, I think it is, Riposte, Riposte, fuck it, who cares. Uh, whenever your barrier is active, and enemies who attack you will take damage in return. So that's 20% thorn damage, that's really freaking awesome. Then uh, Night Protector, 
berries you create uh, take longer to naturally decay. 35% of course, that's a must. Then you go down, you have winter stillness, so you get more re uh, mana regen, and then you got to have more barrier. So that's really nice. So let's count up this tree real quick. We got, uh, so you hit level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, mm, maybe 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Because this is going to be your crowd controller right here, especially for doorway trapping. So we're at level 15 now. We go here. We're going to hit level 16, level 17, hmm, level 17, hmm. I don't know, honestly. That's that. that that's actually kind of getting me. A little stuck on this one. Uh, shit, so 16, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, yeah, 14, 15 from the other one. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, because you want to get that for the, the cooldown reduction. So 19. That leaves us with one more. So I guess you might as well do... Oh, let's see. Yeah, we get up to 19. Damn, dude, that one's actually really difficult. I'm not going to lie. We have that one last point. I don't know if I want to do the basic attack shortens. Actually, no, 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 no. We don't need it. We don't need it because uh, you get that four-second cooldown for when uh, a barrier expires. So that's actually, yeah, never mind. So, all right, so this one, again, is to level six. Oh, shit. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Then I want to say 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that's going to be, that, that, that's how I feel. That's what it should be. Recreate your own fist from the essence of the fade, case smash nearby enemies. But it doesn't say if it does any fucking damage, you stupid shit. I mean, you could totally get this one for like the random little orb thingy, but it's going to do less damage than this. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's what I think. Stick with it. Go for it. Uh, it's definitely uh, support. I mean, you build up. You just keep uh, shielding your the tank. You just want to always set priorities on shields. And then, again, if you're doing doorway trapping, you throw down static cage, which uh, is really nice. I mean, 32-second cooldown isn't that bad, especially when you have this going on. So every spell is going to keep uh, lowering the cooldown cost. So if you got this going on... Uh, you just alternate that. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Ha have a little fun with it. Uh, but definitely the protection one, the protection tree is definitely uh, definitely good. Actually, you know what? I think what we could do is, instead of using mana surge, it's not that. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I, I like it. I want to keep it. So, yeah. So, uh, we get level two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right there. Twenty. Okay. That way, I mean, granted, you don't get that, which is still really nice, but. When you have uh, 24 second cooldown, paralyzed duration, two seconds for enemies nearby, you do that in a crowd, so that's pretty good. And hopefully by the time you get that off, you'll be able to uh, start your rotation back up on using that. Then go back to that. So, I mean, it's definitely, um, you got to play with the cooldown reductions. Uh, more than likely, you if you can't really, I mean, again, your main focus is going to be protecting your teammates. That's all I can say. 
and then have fun uh, fidgeting with uh, the elemental aspect. But yeah, guys, that's my opinion about the uh, Keeper. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And of course, don't forget to stop by 7controllers.com. Uh, use uh, discount code ADOPT, A-D-O-P-T. Uh, upon your checkout to get 5% off. I mean, it's great to get 5% off of anything. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace out.